I hope people come away more broadly with a data-driven mindset. So that's what people have tell, told me that even people who are highly critical of my book, uh, which there have been some, uh, you know, that you take it too far. I don't believe how you interpreted that study. Uh, you know, I don't believe your own study. They've been like, it is making me think more about data. So I, I have this section in my, in my book where I talk about the importance of what you look like in how you, uh, how people treat you. And based on this, I did an experiment where I created with an AI app, a hundred versions of myself. And I ranked, I got research. I, I asked, I did market research. There are sites you can do this now ranking the photos on how I look. And I found out that I get a big boost when I have a beard or glasses. Uh, and people, again, people who hated my book, a couple of people who hated my book said, I thought that study was cool. And it just give, gets me in the mindset of I can actually test things with data that I wouldn't have thought previously. Like I would never have thought to do that. Or, you know, uh, I talk to tell the story in the book, a guy whose son was a baseball player, a high school baseball player. And all his friends said, your son should become a lacrosse player because lacrosse has a higher odds of getting a scholarship. And the guy, Patrick O'Rourke, it's most people when they hear that, you hear a statement, lacrosse gives better odds than baseball. My friends say, you just accept it. And then you might tell your son, oh, you should play lacrosse. It gives better odds. Instead, he collected data on every single sport, how many people play them and how many scholarships there are. And he found out that his friends were completely reversed, that baseball actually gives better odds than lacrosse. So that kind of mindset of not just accepting things were heard, we're, we're told, but uh, actually either collecting data, looking up data, uh, you know, get it, getting the data to help us make these big decisions is what I want people. That, that's probably the number one thing I want people to take away.